this week's this week's game is a continuation of what we played last week. It is, of course, the Zone 60 wireless game. No, special. What's it called? Wireless gaming. Did I just make that part up? I keep calling this the wireless gaming system, but I don't think that's printed anywhere on the box. This is the Zone 60 Special Metallic Edition, and it's very hard to read that text because it's printed in like light gray on white, so you can you can kind of see it right there. Uh, we played this last week, and we got through. There's 60 games on it, hence the it's part of the name. That's how you know. It's kind of like how. Uh, it's kind of like how uh, the Xbox 360 came preloaded with 360 games. This has 60 games. 10 or 11 were motion controlled, and I use that I use that term loosely because it's basically we got one of these bad boys right here, and uh, when you do this, it's the equivalent of pressing the A button. There's no motion tracking whatsoever, and I actually pointed out was this if I do like this? Can you guys? Yeah, you guys can kind of see that faint blinking. Uh, I pointed out last week, there are one, two, three, four, five infrared LEDs on this thing, so that no matter which orientation you're swinging it around at, uh, one of these blinking LEDs is always going to be pointing at the Zone 60 system, because there's no motion controls. It's just infrared wireless thing on the front of the console. And I would pick it up to show you what it looks like, but I tried to do that last week, and I, the cord is so short that I accidentally unplugged it from my computer, and I, we spent like 10 minutes with my dumbass trying to figure out what the hell I did wrong. We've done the motion control games, and they're bad. And now, for this week's stream, we're going to play uh, the, the remainder of the games. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get through it, because we got a, two hours to do it, and we've only got... I don't know. We stopped on Dragon or something last week. I, think. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to drop one of these bad boys. I'm drop it right down there. Look at that. Zone 60. Comes with uh, special attachments, but I thought about doing that, but I have to hold it this way, so I kind of can't do that. Also, I realized I've been pressing buttons on this, and the system is on, and you can't turn this controller off. It has an on-off switch, but I realized... That's for whether or not you want it to shake when you do this. It has like a crappy little vibrate motor in there, so it kind of buzzes when you go like this to signal the fact that it's detecting that you're doing this with it. This remote never turns off, so pressing buttons, I may have been fucking with this the whole time. Smoker Mega Drive says, I wonder if the system will remain in one piece at the end of this stream. You know, funny you mention that. This is the second one of these stupid systems I have bought. And it's not because I intentionally destroyed the first one. The first one uh, got eaten by Hurricane Harvey, and the system survived, and Player 2's controller survived. This controller has a 1 on it. It is hardwired. If you can hardwire a wireless controller, it is hardwired to only be recognized as controller 1. There's no way to switch the two around. And controller one, the contacts, you know, got corroded and messed up on the inside because they got wet. And I took it apart and I cleaned it and I stripped it down and I tried to resolder as much of it as I could and I couldn't get the motherfucker to work. So I had to buy a whole other one of these things. I'm doing this for you for you guys, okay? Don't say I don't do y'all no favors. Yeah, it thinks I want to play tennis. <laughs> Fuck this stupid game. <laughs> That's what I get for accidentally navigating a menu while I was uh, <laughs> trying to talk about this. Hang on. Okay, how do I go? Menu button. Menu button. Menu button. Reset! I don't want to play this. I don't remember playing Egg Collector. Otherwise, I would have made a Danny DeVito, Frank Reynolds, may I offer you an egg in these trying times <laughs> reference. Let's kick things off on a good on a good start here. Let's play a little bit of egg collector. Is there any audio for I don't I can't hear this. Hang on. No, pause it, pause it. Start makes you Start makes you jump. Who who Okay, well I'm clearly not dying, so let me turn this up a little bit.
there's just no audio. It's just it's just like water dropping sounds as these eggs hit the ground. I feel like I'm in Lord BBH's stream where we're playing the the chicken egg catch game that he always plays. So I guess we just have to catch. Uh oh, game over. Well, what a shame. Why would you? Why? Okay. Why are you letting the chickens up there? Why are you letting the hens up there laying eggs up at the top? Why don't you put the roosts on the bottom? That way you don't have to do this. If they lay the eggs on the ground and then you just walk around, and you pick them up. Not like an idiot. I mean, I don't know shit about chickens and farming and stuff like that, but letting them be up there seems like a stupid idea. Find the way. <laughs> Did they just stop capitalizing? Yeah, they've just they've this they've gotten to the part where they're just like, okay, well I'm done capitalizing on, on these things. We're just gonna we're gonna end it here. Hang on. <laughs> well thank you for the, the fourteen ninety nine bits. That's that's probably actually what I paid for when I ordered it from, from Goodwill, because I think they I think it was that no shipping, they just wanted to get rid of it. He says this system was the Wii before its time. I think hang on. Is there a year? Date date of production, May 2010. Actually, unfortunately, Bad Wolf, this wasn't the Wii ahead of its time. This was a uh, Wii half a decade after its time. <laughs> show me the way. Oh, fuck, I really do need someone to show me the way here. What is the... Oh, okay, I know how this works. So, it's, um... So okay, I've got this I've got this like bell pepper selected here. And so when I hit down, it moves all the way down until it hits something and stops it. So like left and I go right, and I'm supposed to move it onto that up there. And then I I don't want to pick him. I want to pick the green bell pepper so that when I go left up, I can go down and then cycle back through to yellow and says pass. It's not very often that we play we play games on this stream where like we just we instantly kind of know how it works. So I, I will give the makers credit for making it easy to understand. They're usually not that nice. Unfortunately, this game is 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 piss easy. Hey, check out that move counter. Like, if I go like this, like, while he's moving, I can just increase the move counter without actually, like, moving again, like, without completing that move. And it, it go, does go to three digits. Uh, so what are these... What are these exit, restart... Oh. Oh, I think I must have hit exit. Oh, no, what a shame. Let's go do some finger dancing. I know a thing or two about finger dancing too. Woo! Just. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so. Oh, the the timing on this is is crap. <laughs> I mean, okay. All all you have to do is you just have to press the buttons and what is that? Was that A? Okay, I guess it is. You just, you just press the arrows as you, you go in order and find the rhythm and you can't you can't go faster than the thing I noticed the game does speed up when there's oh my god this is so hard to look at I, I just acapella this song it this thing can you hear me so I'm playing a, oops, I'm playing as like a little anime girl inside a penguin costume who's just jumping around. Okay. Oh, you can actually press them pretty fast. I guess that was just, that was just the, no wait, no, hang on. It, I'm, I, I am hitting some rough patches here. That slowdown is definitely messing with the, with the input you can do on this. Oh my god. We're gonna run out of time, this is not possible. Unfortunately, this this game is just mindless enough that I'm like okay at it. Oh, that's 
That's nasty. That song sounds like crap. <laughs> I can speedrun this. Make an extra life marathon that consists only of this. Bad Wolf, thank you. Hey, thank you for gifting a sub to uh, Wavecube there. Actually, Wavecube, that's that's uh, according to my doodad. That's your first month as a, as a subscriber. So in, enjoy the enjoy the Ness emote. You can bring you can bring the magic of uh, the magic of my. Oh, we, did we beat the whole game? That's it. We beat we beat it. We I could I was joking about the speed run thing, but I might be onto something. Uh, and the the F of course is not not capitalized. Hit me. Hell yeah. The hell, my boat's on fire. Oh, okay. Oh, we've played this before. This was on that, um, we played a uh, uh, Famicom version of... Oh, shit. Well, he's dead. We played a Famicom version of this on the retro... God, this thing is crap. This game sucked on the, the retro play, too. Don't get me wrong. Why don't you people jump out of the boat? Jump in the water. There's water everywhere. I mean, maybe if a boat's on fire, you're not supposed to jump out of the boat, are you? That probably... It's probably not a good idea. The input delay from this infrared, this crappy infrared controller is, is great. I would imagine this is probably what it would be like if you had a, a, a NES satellite, which was a way of uh, turning your NES controllers into uh, wireless things. It was, it was a hub that you plugged your NES controllers into and it took four four D-cell batteries. That's like eight pounds of batteries and I'm sure it lasted like 15 minutes. Also that you could play Super Mario Brothers with like a half second input delay. <laughs> well I guess we saved enough of those people. They, did, they walked into the ambulance, shouldn't they have been, like, on a gurney? You know, I really don't remember the, uh... The, the Famicom version that we played of this. I, I think I remember hating it, but I, I think I hated a lot of things that we played on that system. I don't know if I like or hate this. This is not a game that... This is not a game that I would just intentionally play, but... Oh, that slowdown. My god. But it is a game I would play if it was incentivized in some way. Like, if they had, a, uh, You know, achievements. Also, chat is telling me this game is called, uh, Megami Rescue, so that is, apparently is just a remake of a bootleg of... Uh, something. Oh my god, something else? Okay, we saved all the people. Hang on, get to the chopper. Oh, you blew the... You just came in and... That's one way to put the fire out, I guess, is to blow the fucking buildings up. Oh, yeah, look at that slowdown. That, oh, my God. That's... That's some... That's juicy right there. That's bad. I like how I've just saved this old lady, and already there's, like, a little... What happened? I didn't save that many people. I saved one dude. Where did where did you guys get 19? And we've looped around to the the boat again. Give me, give me some fruit fall. This looks like a mobile game. Password, two words. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, fuck. What's this game called? Oh, I never mind. No, I still know what this is. There was a Super Nintendo game that played like this. I don't remember what it was called. I hate it. I hate it already. I, I don't think I can win. Oh, I can. Okay. You just keep, just keep going. Maybe, maybe this, there was a game on the PlayStation that played like this. 
I remember at one point somebody made a tool assisted speedrun of it, and the game was so boring that nobody wanted to watch it, and I felt bad for the guy that invested all the, all the time on the speedrun. Because that, that's got to be like the worst thing, is to, especially a tool assisted run, is to spend all that time making a, ga a thing for a, a tool assisted run. And then when all's said and done, people are like, this is the worst game I've ever seen. Fucking hell, come on, man. Just match it. Match those oranges. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do know what I'm... Oh, there we go. That's a double right there. Two combo. Like I said, I know what I'm doing. Woo! Oh, I'm running out of time! Oh, no! Hang on. I know, I can do this. I can do this. Come down to the wire. I'm the fruit master. I really, I really, I really don't like this game. Like, this is... <laughs> I understand how it works. It's, it's so tedious. Fruit Spinner, the game. This level's kind of easy, actually. Wow, I, I beat this one real quick. Is this even doable? What is this? Oh, okay. Maybe it is. Okay, number 17, go-karts. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit that, but okay. Oh man, it's like this is like a real bad super off-road. Oh. You know what? Okay. I well, uh, I don't like that. This one is this one's okay. It's It's really not that good, but I understand it. I get it. This one, this one, this one's good. My 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 fast my last laugh was thirteen ninety five. Whatever the hell that means. I like how it's it's not done in seconds. It's done with a score counter that counts up every frame. So really, I did that laugh in eight hundred forty six frames, and you can divide that by fifty nine. 50 whatever 59.96 to find out my uh, actual time if you're so inclined to know this looks like it ought to be fun <laughs> those tire tracks went <laughs> you can't even there's not even a layer function it just Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Does that mean I can do this? Can I, can I like... Okay, no, there, there, there is a wall there. There is a wall there. No, I'm just racing the clock, Fangemon. I'm just doing this for love of the game. So they, they, they do have walls. They do have, they do have one-way walls programmed in this game. But they don't have it so that I actually drive underneath the top of the thing when I do that. Hang on, I'm gonna... And now I just have to know if I can drive out of the course. Oh. 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 Maybe. I don't know. It, it doesn't look like the game's gonna let me out. I'm trying. That was uh, that was that was the go karts, which was almost a good game. Hey bales. Sure. Am I? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I, does, does this game have a pause? No. None, none of these miserable games have a pause feature. My guy is he's Donald Duck. He is traced from a sprite of Donald Duck. How do I play this fucking game? This is like, he's traced from like, I don't know, Castle of Illusion or something. Yeah, Dr. Surgeon guy, he, he, uh, I recognize that ass anywhere. Also, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm stuck here. Wait, this is the guy from Mother 3? 
Holy shit, is he... Is... Is he the guy that does the... He's not the guy that does the monkey dance, is he? Also, I... I... I can't... I can't get up. I, I can't... I can't do this. I don't know what to do. Oh, well... Okay, well, the game scored a point for me. I guess I'm supposed to make a line. This is like... Oh, I'm dead. This is like shitty Tetris, but... I can't... I presume I'm supposed to be able to jump up here and... Okay, yeah, I can I can pick up the hay bales, but I I can't I can't get over there. Well, I scored scored some more points, some free points. I feel like this music is very loud. It's also very short. Do you recognize the guy in the top left? It's it's also Duster. From Mother 3, but he's in a disguise. Well, the guy in the top left is clearly traced from Goofy. It's it's Goofy's body with, with Duster's head, and then the guy that I'm playing as is Donald Duck with, with Duster's head. Gooby, please. Hang on. Let's, let's reset this game. And let me see if I can actually play it. Because I, I got distracted by Donald Duck... And Goofy. Gooby, Gooby and Nolan. <laughs> the original story. So this is this kind of functions the way I was expecting it to. You you, you climb around and you, you just you're just picking up these blocks. Or I'm sorry, hay bales, and you gotta put them down on a line. That's all we're doing here. Oh, so yeah, they did draw pants on the Donald Duck model, didn't they? I just realized that. Can't just have a Duster with his bare ass hanging out. I mean, you could, but you don't want to do that. This music's fucking awful and it's loud. So this 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 just doesn't end. It's just this is this is hell. This is hay bale hell. Hero legend. Hero Legend. Oh, it's the, the same music, but worse. Is this... Hang on. Is that a... Is that a... Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Is that a Link from the Four Swords Adventures? We gotta watch out. These... What the hell? Did an enemy just spawn on top of me as I was trying to swing the hammer? I don't know, it's, you guys are making me worried that, like, you said the game music is low, but when I look at the audio meters, I'm like, no, this game music should be uncomfortably loud. Did I just spike that dude at the wall like a frisbee? Oh my god. That's, oh, it's a butt. Oh, see, it's not Bubble Bobble, because if it was Bubble Bobble, you know, the level would scroll vertically. We'd go to the next one that way. Bubble bobble. See all the fruit that came out of those guys when I hit him at the wall? It was like a it was like a Kix Berry Blast commercial. You guys remember that cereal? Remember they sold Kix in fruit flavors? Only only nineties kids will remember this. Now they just sell Kix in whatever the hell flavor Kix is supposed to be. Oh, those guys break apart. I didn't know about that. What happened to these enemies right here? What what are those guys doing? Well, we got having some problems here. Like the AI just temporarily got stuck. Didn't know what the hell it was doing. It doesn't really convey to me when I can pick these enemies up. Because like sometimes you hit the enemy and they flatten out and I can grab them. And then other times I hit the enemy and I don't pick him up, and I just die. I'm assuming I hit these guys from the back. I got hit him twice. But see, when he falls down the second time, there, there's nothing to, like, denote him as being in, in, in a different position as the first time you hit him. This is designed so shitty. Okay, well, we got a game over, unfortunately. 
What a shame. And it doesn't even give me the option to continue. It just says, you go back and play you some hot drop. Uh, okay, well, this is the, this is What's-His-Face from Kirby. The, the polar bear that you, or the, the walrus that gives you freeze. And he blow, he blows a bubble. He, it's called hot drop, not bubble blowing. I <laughs> like, he doesn't have a parachute, he just goes, ah, as he falls. That's that's a thing from Metal Slug. Holy shit, this whole game pass. This whole game, this whole system consists of just like stolen shit. And it, they this is it's so weird. They like tried to hide it at first. Almost. Almost. Like the first few games that we played. They 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 tried. Oh no, my my they burst my bubble. I never thought I, I would see this character's sprites repurposed so that it looked like he was chewing bubblegum. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. That game doesn't even, like, restart or give you a chance to continue. It's just like, we're done. Also, that spaceship does kind of look like a dolphin. Th this guy has no jump. He only has bubble. You have to do that to get around. You can't just, like, you can't just press up or A or whatever. You press up and A, and he blows a bubble. I'm getting this really weird, kind of uneven, like, tearing on the, the sky blue background on my end. It's probably not translating on the stream all that well, but I can see it, and it's bothering me. The walrus, his name is Mr. Frosty. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was, like if that was correct, because I was going to say his name was, was Frosty or Freezy. Okay, whatever. Frosty or Freezy, but I wasn't sure about that. So now they're just like, they're just not even, that's it. Stolen animation sprites, stolen game ideas, now we're just going to call it Ice Climber, and it's Ice Climber. It's a, oh my god, this looks like it's going to be hell to fucking play. How are they going to do the bonus round? I hate. Oh wow. I I thought, 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 the, thought the guy was gonna hit me. I hate to say this, but no, actually, you know what? This play this play is just about as good as the original Ice Climber game. Which is say it fucking sucks. God damn. I hate Ice Climber. I was just about to say that at least this game doesn't have a piss poor jumping mechanic like the the Famicom game does, but it it still does. I don't know how you would intentionally make a knockoff of Ice Climber and keep the fucked up jank ass jumping mechanics of that game. That seems like something that even if you just tried to make an Ice Climber game from the ground up, you would just do a better job just in general because you would have to make a, just a whole new engine and it wouldn't suck like the original Ice Climber game does. But this is still this is still Astoundingly awful. I'm allowed to say, you know, games are crap. Ice Climbers is a, is a is a crap game. It's not it's not very fun to play. It's hard, and it's purely because the game is impossible to control. Ah. This is even worse because I'm like I'm like jumping over these platforms. I'm, I'm not even trying to do that, but I am. And they still have the really poor collision detection of these platforms too. How do you do this? How do you make how do you make a game and keep all of the things that made it suck? You piece of shit! He turned. Her ah! Got him right there at the end. Yeah, you're right. At least Wave Cube, at least the original Ice Climbers game does have, like, good music. Oh, 
wonder how long this this crap goes on for. Also, somebody, I think, I think Fangermon in chat asked if that, uh, if the, I don't know what the things are called, but that's, if that's a, a Pokemon, Boneri, it might be. That sounds like it's from one of those generations I don't care about, though, so it's, it's a big maybe for me. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Skip the moving plat, oh, fuck. Boneri, there we go. Dr. Surgeon Guy also also corroborates the binary theory. <laughs> the theory. Uh, there's more. You're only supposed to put four vegetables in the bonus round in Ice Climbers. I don't know what the hell all this crap is. Oh, you fucker. I got through that a lot quicker than the first one. You know what this is like? This is like playing that Atari game Sword Quest. That game that... I'm not gonna get that treasure bag. I don't care about it. It's the game that, like... It feels almost possible to beat. And when you try to play it, you just get really mad. And you're like, I'm not gonna play this stupid game again. Jumping across the moving platforms in Ice Climber feels exactly like Sword Quest. One of the trials. So you get the magic cape that lets you go fuck yourself. Why am I still playing this? Jewel Fever 2! We didn't play the first one, I don't think. So let's, let's take... Hit, hit me. Arg, I be coming for your booty and it's... What, what the hell is this? I'm going to pick up all the jewels. Got him. Oh, okay. I think I understand how this works. It sucks. There's nothing stopping me from picking up all the diamonds. If this were a good game, they'd be like, hey, you can only hold three at a time. But not me. I'm going to pick up all the blue ones. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is, but apparently I'm about to die, so maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or not, we go straight to level 2. They, the, the gems, they started to do the bejeweled thing where they shake, and it was making me anxious. I'm like, ah, it's gonna get me. Oh, this is Magical Drop? I do not recognize it in this form. I, that just, like, I just totally missed it. What does this do? Oh, okay, it just blows up all the ones of a certain color. So it's like they, they made a knockoff and they just they didn't realize that people are gonna game it. Also, you can kinda like go like between the like if I go like A second ago I was I was putting pieces that like I wasn't quite lined up with the thing. I don't know. This game feels like a tech demo. If you could even consider something on a crappy console like this to be eligible to be considered as a tech demo. That's what that's what this plays like. Okay, well, this game is incredibly dreary. And we're on level four, and they're not introducing new colors. So, uh, I'm going to have to say uh, Jewel, Jewel Master. Jewel Fever. Sorry, Jewel Fever. It's no go for me. Jewel Master is the next game. God damn. You motherfuckers, for real? Oh, great. This is where you just pick a stage. This, they've done they've done the work for us here. Is this columns? Yeah, it's columns. A lot of columns. My god, how much space are you going to give me to put these pieces down? Columns is a... I always thought Columns was was a really interesting Sega game. Because it's one of those few games where you don't even have to be good at it to get, like, a high score. Because on the easier difficulties, even when the game speeds up, there's so few pieces and colors. You can just start throwing shit down willy-nilly. And you'll still be racking up combos like, like you know what you're doing. Columns on the Game Gear is basically impossible to lose at. 
So we got a little bit of Pop Goes the Weasel here. I'm sponsored by PopCap Games. <laughs> we play a little bit of Diamond Mine after this. Yeah, it is the it is the same version of Pop Goes the Weasel. They're they're really getting their money's worth out of this, and by that I mean you know they didn't pay for any licensing whatsoever, so they just stole it. So this just doesn't just doesn't do. Oh, there we go. Okay, level two start. Is this the equivalent of the thing that erases all the? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let me try something real quick. Wait, you can. You're not supposed to be able to do this in columns. What the fuck is this? That... Well, it, it is a derivative of columns. Here I am playing this like a columns purist. And this whole time I can just be like, Oh, I'm gonna put it this way so I can... Just like that. Get the fuck out of here. I want to put it on level 30. I want to see what happens. We're gonna, we're gonna pop that weasel. <laughs> it's... Let me see if I can highlight the point that I was making about not having to be good at columns to get uh, combos in it. Oh, there's not a whole lot of leniency with the pieces, though. The, the input delay is killing me. <laughs> I may have spoken too soon. Alright, smartass. Where's your, where's your infinite combos, Draco? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, yeah, I figured that maybe the background wasn't taken from a Columns game, but I feel like Columns, I think, was already, like, desert forward slash Egyptian themed. So all you have to do is make a jewel game with a desert background and people are like, you motherfuckers are copying columns. I know about that. Just because it doesn't have the guy on the cover sitting there like this on the top of the pile of columns, like in the Mega Drive Columns 3 game. Just because you don't have that doesn't mean I'm on to you. I know what's up. Okay, pop goes the, pop goes the weasel. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gatorbox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.